Hello, Dodgen 6th grade band. Today we are going to be working on the Dodgen Daily Dozen. You'll need the following things. The Daily Dozen sheet, which you can get off of the OneNote class notebook in the content library. You will also need a pencil and, of course, your instrument. The Daily Dozen deals with chromatic scales, chromatic notes. That's notes that are right next to each other, can't get any closer. Like on this piano keyboard, here are the notes from our exercise today. You see, I hit every single key in order. I didn't skip any. And going down. All right, let's take a look at the notes. The first thing we always want to look at is the key signature. You can see we have a B flat and an E flat in our key. However, you're also going to notice there's a lot of E naturals as you look throughout this exercise. So let's go ahead and mark those E naturals since they fall outside the key. By the way, these notes are good for flute. It's the exact same notes for oboe as well. So here we go. Let's circle these E naturals. Here's one there. And there's one there. That E is flat. That E is flat because of the key. When this bar line happens here, that takes away or cancels out the natural sign there. Now the second line is a little bit more interesting. We have an E natural here, right after the E flat. Then we have another E natural here. Then, right after this E natural, there's an E flat. And that flat remains in effect till the end of the measure. So this it's still flat when we get to the end. So E natural, E flat, D, E flat again. But then as soon as we do the E flat, there we go, back to E natural yet again. Now this natural, the natural sign here, it carries over. So that natural is still in effect right over there. That's a crookedy line, isn't it? So that's an E natural as well. Now right after that, we have the flat sign next to the E telling us we're going back to following the key, which includes E flat, and we end with a D. All right, this is called the accidental rule. When you have an accidental, it lasts till the end of the measure, or unless something tells you to do something different, like that flat sign right there. Let's go ahead back to line A here and say the letters in rhythm. We're going to include the word flat or natural for every E since it goes back and forth so much on this particular line. Ready, set, and letters. B, E flat, E natural, F, rest. F, E natural, E flat, D, rest. Now, letter B. Same notes, but it goes up and down a couple of times. And these are quarter notes, so they are twice as fast as these half notes. Here we go. One, two, letters, go. D, E flat, E natural, F, E natural, E flat, D, E flat, E natural, F, E natural, E flat, D. Rest. Stop. Okay, percussion. Sadly, I do not have a mallet set at my house. I do, however, have a piano. The keys are laid out exactly like a mallet instrument. Let's play letter A together. Our first note there is a D. Here we go. One, two, letter A, go. Rest, two, Three, four. I'm actually trying to show you good sticking with my fingers. Imagine my thumb is your left hand, my index finger is your right hand. That's going to be your best sticking. Okay, let's do letter B. And by the way, if you do not have a mallet set at your house, but you have a piano or something like it, this would work great. All right, letter B. One, two, ready, go. Rest. 
And again, left and right, alternating back and forth are the best way to manage this. In percussion, we are planning on having a Zoom meeting. So if you want to play this for us and get some feedback, that is something you will be able to do later this week. Uh, this assignment is due on Friday. You can play it for us live on the Zoom meeting, or you can simply record it on OneNote. On the OneNote notebook, there's literally a record button. Insert, then record, record yourself. It's maybe 30 seconds of music, and you're all done. Either way, get that done by Friday. All right, folks, happy practicing, and hope to see you guys real soon.